ستارت دكتور سمح اوكي هلو ام دكتور سام اتاها وان اوف ذا دكتور سينير هاوس اوفيسر اون كول توداي ام اي توكينج تو مس ساندي يس دكتور هلو مس ساندي وي ار هير مس ساندي تو ديسكاس اباوت يور هيلث ايشو از ذات اوكي ويز يو يس بليز دكتور وين اوكي سو مس ساندي هاو واز يور هيدك ناو ا ليس بيتر ذان ذان يسترداي دكتور Uh, okay, uh, so can you tell me what, what you know about your health uh, so far? Yes, doctor. Uh, yesterday I uh, had uh, a severe headache, there, doctor. I don't feel it is the same headache before, and uh, and getting sick and some drowsiness. I went to hospital, and they asked for me a scan for my brain, and. Uh, advised me to uh, admit it to hospital until result appeared. Doctor, I don't know what happened. Please inform me what uh, what result showing. Uh, okay, Miss Sandy, do you have any uh, idea or expectation what's going on? Um, I I think, uh, Doctor, yesterday I was uh, have some stress in my work. Um, maybe some stress or um, uh, headache. I don't know what the cause. Doctor, is my expectation. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, Miss Sandy. Uh, uh, as you tell me that you did, the, you have this severe headache, and you did the scan, and uh, the result of the scan is this with me now. Do you want to know about it? Yes, please, Doctor. Yes, inform me everything. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, the result is uh, uh, is with me, and it's not as we hope, Miss Sandy. I'm sorry to tell you that. Oh, Doctor, what happened, Doctor? Anything serious? Uh, Okay. Uh, yes, Mrs. Sandy. Uh, the results show that you having uh, some bleeding at your head. Bleeding. Oh, doctor. Yeah, that's what we call yes, subarachnoid hemorrhage. Yes, it's serious doctor condition. Uh, yes, Mrs. Sandy. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you that. Yes, it's serious condition. Oh, doctor. I'm very sad about it. It's okay, doctor. Uh, mm -hmm. So, what what's the plan, doctor? Now, what you what will happen to me? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so now Miss Sandy, uh, you having this uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage as I told you, and some bleeding in your head, and uh, this we need to do for you some other uh, tests and some scan that to confirm what's the what's uh, what is a possible uh, cause for this uh, uh, bleeding, and we are going to do for you a multidisciplinary team uh, that is group of specialists, including the nerve doctor and uh, the also surgeon, so as to uh, assess your uh, condition more and uh, to put for you a better plan of management. Uh, meanwhile, you are be uh, under uh, full close monitoring uh, for uh, your uh, condition and uh, uh, you will be under uh, the uh, full uh, medical care uh, and, uh, and you, you may, we may need to transfer you to the intensive care unit so as to be under close monitoring uh, and, and until you will be uh, 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 you will be assessed by the nerve doctor and also the surgeon doctor. Uh, okay, we are going to uh, to monitor your blood pressure and uh, and to uh, observe for you for any uh, uh, possible deterioration that you may have. It's okay, doctor. So you will admit okay, you so uh, will admit me now in, t in intensive care unit, doctor. Uh, okay, so Ms. Uh, now, Miss Sandy, you are uh, 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 your condition now is stable. What we are uh, uh, expecting uh, it may be deteriorated. So we need to uh, you to have uh, a full care and uh, to be under close uh, monitoring. Yes, doctor. But I feel good, doctor. I don't. Yeah. I feel do. I feel better. Uh, I want to go home, doctor. Thank you. I want to go home, doctor. Yeah. Uh, yes, Miss Sandy, I appreciate your concern. But now, uh, as I told you, you're having this bleeding at your head, and, and this uh, bleeding it can uh, increase and uh, can uh, deteriorate your health more and more, and your condition can be progressed. And uh, so, uh, we cannot uh, discharge you home. Uh, you have to be under close monitoring and under our care uh, to intervene if any uh, if uh, any deterioration was happened to you, Miss Sandy. So, okay, doctor, thank you for uh, uh, your effort. But, yeah. but, doctor, but, doctor, as I told you, I, I have to go my home, doctor. I don't like hospital, doctor.
Uh huh. Okay, I appreciate that, Miss Sandy. But uh, uh, if you let me to explain for you more. Yes, doctor. It's okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, can I draw for you to make this more clear? Yes, please. Okay, uh, Miss Sandy, this is what uh, was. Uh, uh, what's this you have? This is uh, your brain, and this is uh, the vessel that's running in your brain. And uh, some of this vessel cause bleeding at your head. And this uh, bleeding can affect your brain very uh, in a very bad way and can increase in size uh, with time and can increase more and more. And re-bleeding can be happening and causing for you decreasing the level of your consciousness and causing for you weakness at any part of, the, uh, of your body. And uh, the most serious thing, it can cause for you uh, uh, it can end your life, Miss Sandy. I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's a very serious condition. So what we need to do for you is to admit you and to observe you under a close monitoring and to be assessed again by the nerve doctor and also the uh, and, and the surgeon so as to build for you a better plan of management. Uh, so because of that, Miss Sandy, I'm sorry to tell you that I cannot discharge you home. Yes, doctor. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. are, are you following me? Yes, doctor, mm -hmm. I, am, I am fully me, uh, fully you, uh, very much, doctor, and I really appreciate mm -hmm. your effort. Uh, but as I, as I told you, okay. I had uh, I had to go to my home, doctor. I don't like the hospital, and I I okay. I, I, I will okay. follow with you, doctor. I will follow with uh, clinic, and uh, but I don't want to admit uh, admit to hospital. Doctor. Okay, Miss Sandy, can I know why you are not uh, you don't want to to be in the hospital? Um, if you have any other issue or yes, I has to doctor. I has uh, two children in my home. No one care about him. Uh, I need to go to care about them because no one uh, will take care about them. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, Miss Sandy, I appreciate that. But uh, as I told you, you have in this serious condition, and this can end your life. If, as I told you, Miss Sandy, I'm sorry to tell you that. And uh, do you have any relative or any friends can taking care of uh, your children or something? No, like doctor. That? No, doctor. No one can will take care about my children. Okay, Miss Sandy, we can help you regarding that. We have uh, uh, we can involve our social worker in that to help you uh, to uh, in caring of your children. Uh, how you feel toward that? So, okay, doctor. So you will contact the social worker. Can help them, doctor. Care about care. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, we can contact the social worker and can help you regarding that. Okay. Uh, it's okay, doctor. Um, another thing, doctor. I really I like uh -huh. smoker uh, smoking, and uh, in the hospital I can't smoke, doctor. I think it is important to me, doctor. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, okay, Miss Sandy, I, I want to tell you that the smoking is very uh, has very bad effect on your health, and advise you that to stop smoking, and uh, it may affect your health very badly. Okay. Uh, and okay, uh, uh, we can help you regarding stop smoking, Miss Sandy, if you don't mind. It's okay, Doctor Nubro. It's okay. Uh, okay. Thank you okay. Um, uh, so. Oh, but okay, as, so but Sandy, uh, how okay, you doctor, feel now? Uh, it's okay, doctor. Thank you for your effort with me. But uh, as I told you, uh, I really appreciate your feeling about uh, you will, uh, will offer me social work. But I also, I try also to uh, not feel good when I stay in hospital. I really, I don't like hospital, but I want to stay in my home. And uh, I really, I promise you, I will come to uh, follow in clinic. Thank you for your effort. Uh, doctor. Oh, yes. Okay, Miss Sandy, I appreciate that. But uh, if you can tell me you have any other issue regarding the hospital admission or anything no, that doctor, you are worried about. Uh, no, thank you, Doctor. Really, I, I really appreciate your feeling, Doctor. But uh, as I told you, I really I don't like hospital, Doctor. I don't like uh, hospital and stay in hospital. I like my home and I uh, hope to stay in my home. <clears throat> uh, okay, Miss Sandy, I appreciate that. But uh, as I told you, your condition is very serious and I cannot discharge you home. Uh, how you feel about meeting our consultant to talk to him more? So, okay, about I, will that. Try. I will try. So, okay, no problem. I, and I will, I will, uh, when can, when can I, I see him, doctor? Uh, okay, as soon as possible, I would arrange a meeting with our consultant to talk to you more about that, okay? So, okay. So, okay. so, uh, so my condition, okay, but, doctor, uh, uh, but you have to be in the hospital. 
-hmm. So, okay, I will wait, mm -hmm. Doctor, until I see uh, the consultant and discuss this issue with him. So, Doctor, I want to ask about uh, okay. is my yani, any need of any operation or any, any surgical pro any surgical intervention, Doctor, or no, no need. Oh, okay. So, uh, Miss Sandy, I told you that you, you will be assessed by the nerve doctor and also the surgeons, so as uh, and to do for you some uh, other full assessment for you. And uh, yes, you one of the uh, one of the uh, plan of management or one of the type of treatment that you may have a surgical intervention for that. And uh, 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 you will be assessed again, as I told you, and uh, the plan of management will be put for you. It's okay, doctor. Thank you very much. Doctor. Okay. It's okay. Doctor. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh, okay, Miss Sandy. Uh, uh, I want to ask you some question. W what's your job? I am uh, accountant, doctor. Oh, okay. So, and uh, uh, if this affecting your job by any way? This doctor is yesterday. I had severe headache and I left my job. Um, yesterday, mm -hmm. Dr. Reis, I had this stress, as I told you, I have stress in my job uh, and has, mm -hmm. has this headache and uh, I went to hospital yesterday, Dr. Reis. Uh, okay, Ms. Sandy, we are going to, uh, we can help you regarding that. We, are, you, we may write a report, medical report for your employee and we can involve our occupational health service in that. Okay. So, okay. 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 So, uh, and do you take alcohol? Occasionally, doctor, no, not regularly, in, in weekend, doctor. Okay, how much you take in the weekend? About um, 10 units, uh, occasionally, not, not regular, doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so with whom do you live? With my husband, doctor, and my children. Okay, okay, and uh, is, he, is your husband supporting? Yes, yes, doctor, yes, no okay. problem. Okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, Miss Sandy, do you have other concern or question? No, that Doctor, as I told you, you. Yes, no, thank you, Doctor. But as I told mm -hmm. you, help me. As I told you, help me about the issue. I wanted to go home. I want to, I don't like to stay at the hospital, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, Miss Sandy, uh, 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 you have to be in the hospital, as I told you, uh, until you will be discuss this issue with our consultant, okay? It's okay, Doctor. Thank you very much. It's okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, Miss Andy, if you let me to summarize what we talk about today. Yes, please. Uh, okay. So, Miss Andy, you are presented to the hospital having the severe headache, and uh, you did some scan for your head, and the result with the scan was uh, there is a, a bleeding in your head, what we call subarachnoid hemorrhage. Uh, so, we need to admit you uh, at the hospital to be under close monitoring and observing you for any deterioration of the uh, condition as this uh, bleeding is very serious one and can lead to uh, more deterioration in your health. Uh, you are going to be assessed by the nerve doctor and also the surgeon uh, so as to put for your better management plan. Uh, now you are you need uh, you want to be discharged home and uh, but you will wait until uh, you discuss this issue with our consultant. Yes. Uh, and I advise you that to stop uh, your smoking as this has very bad effect on you. Uh, is that okay? It's okay, it's okay. Uh, okay, Miss Sandy, uh, can you tell me what you get from our discussion today? Yes, doctor. Um, uh, as you told me, uh, I have uh, bleeding in my uh, brain. And uh, you asked me uh, to stay uh, at hospital to uh, close observation under uh, doctor, nerve doctor and uh, surgery will assess my condition. And um, you advised me to uh, stay at hospital, not go home. But as uh, you promised me, I will discuss this issue again with your consultant. Doctor. Thank you very much, doctor. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so. Uh, so uh, I will provide you with my uh, hospital number, Miss Sandy. I will give you some leaflet and some website talking about this bleeding so as to know more about your condition. And so, uh, if you have any concern or question, we are here to help you, Miss you. Sandy, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sandy. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank uh, you very much. I am finished. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Samah. It's okay. What's, okay. Uh, uh, what's the legal issue here, Dr. Samah? Uh, the legal issue here... Uh, if the patient has to need to be discharged from the hospital. Yes. What you what uh, you, what, what uh, you do, doctor? If, yes. What you what you, doctor? Uh, uh, if this patient uh, insists to go home, it's okay. 
and uh, you can lift here to go home or no yeah because if she signed them oh. why doctor if she signed lama yes if she signed them uh if she signed lama she can go home okay she can go i so. don't know so yeah <laughs> no problem <laughs> she can go uh, second thing okay. uh, uh, in the in the scenario uh, no one inform you about any another investigation it's better not inform anyone you are doing another investigation to confirm ah, so no one inform you okay. and okay. another thing no one okay. inform you about the ICU no one to inform you so okay ah, okay uh, يعني very, okay. يعني, يعني they uh, really يعني examiner respect يعني what what task in the uh, what task in the scenario not inform him mm -hmm. I will uh, confirm okay. the uh, diagnose confirm it okay. and not, not yeah. inform you not inform you about the uh, any uh, ICU or any uh, another mm -hmm. another test so okay but, okay. but in general, okay. you are excellent, okay. uh, excellent, excellent doing okay. it. Uh, cover everything mm. and be uh, not struggle with the patient and everything very important. Mm. Yani, uh, transfer. Uh, okay, but I, I have questions. Yes. Okay, if she, uh, now she is uh, refusing to be admitted to the hospital, the right thing is to meet him with consultant or to sign Lama? Excellent, excellent. Yeah, you're doing excellent. You're um, an escape from this issue uh, with consultant. It's okay. But I, I mean, I mean, what, what if the also was consulted, she refused? So, okay, what, what, uh, what's the medical issue here? It's oh, okay. It's okay. Why can oh, we okay. can take discussion okay. this issue? We can discuss this issue with uh -huh. another doctor. Please, if anyone uh, uh -huh. share us in this uh, issue, what about in this patient? Uh, we can allow her to go home or no? Anyone has any opinion? Because this question asked in the exam, if this patient wants to go home, as any patient, as patient, any patient has right to go home. But in this condition, we can allow or no? Please, anyone know? I think the patient has capacity and he can sign them. But I, yeah. before uh, giving him um, to sign, I will contact my consultant. Yes. And inform him. Yes. And I, uh, if the patient is still insisted, I will tell him, uh, I will uh, try to arrange a meeting with the consultant. If he's still refusing, I will see the, the opinion of the consultant, even by phone. Yes. And I think he can go go home. How, how, uh, thank you, Dr. Adadi. How, how do you decide this patient competent or non competent? Uh, uh, competent, uh, the patient is, uh, uh, I think, above uh, eighty, above eighteen year. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. I'm not sure he he, he can uh, uh, outweigh the risk and the benefit or not. Uh, I, I can do that or the psychiatry or whom. I'm okay. not sure from. Thank you, Dr. Thank you very much. He can Thank outweigh the. <laughs> no bro, no class. I uh, it's okay. Yeah, excellent. But but anyone has another opinion? Yes, anyone has another opinion because this issue is very important. Not your limit to let patient let them let him meeting with consult. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. You can, we can inform this patient very excellent to escape from the patient. You told him I will discuss this issue with the consultant. Type if the if if you are a consultant, if you are a consultant, and she uh, she refused to stay. Uh, and uh, in this issue, you can allow here or not allow here, because as you know, a patient has a right to go home. But I think in this condition, I talk about this condition. Anyone know about any uh, this patient allow or not allow any test or anything or some uh, how how to know this combat or non combat? Anyone has any issue? Because this uh, is legal issue here. This legal issue here. Anyone has another opinion? Doctor Abdelhadi told well, uh, we can. Uh, examine here or some type. Anyone knows something another different to uh, help us to know how this patient to know is is uh, uh, competent or not competent? Anything? Anyone? Anyone has any opinion or think any yeah, opinion? Hmm. Yes, Doctor Nahla. Huh. Doctor, huh. Doctor, not no limit. You can allow if a consultant, but assure here in spite. It's okay if you are a consultant and you are Doctor Ashafakat. What's your opinion? Yes, uh, if a patient has capacity, he can understand uh, mm. the information given given to him. Yes, and uh, if he can retain the information, and he can weigh the uh, uh, risk and benefits. 
Yes. It's and, okay. Uh, it means it's okay. You're okay. been with competent. me. It's okay, Dr. Shafiqati, you inform me everything. Dr. Dr. Samah, inform me everything. If you go, is life threatening and you have coma, everything. And I understand. And uh, urgent psychiatric yeah. center. Uh, and uh, I, I inform you, thank you, doctor, your effort, and uh, I want to go also. <laughs> uh, you, you can let here or not let here? <laughs> because this question asked me in the exam. I hope to insist to repeat it because it's important. So, okay. Any another? And, uh, if, we, uh, uh, if we have explained uh, the everything to him, and uh, all question. full clinical picture and complications, so, okay. And also involve the consultant. Yes, involve uh, the consultant and the consultant. Well, I yes. think. Uh, ah, it's okay. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Shabakat. Uh, okay. uh, thank you, Dr. Abdel Hadi. Thank you, Dr. Shabakat, Dr. Samah. Very good. This condition, uh, the important point, my, my message today to you is in this case, in a neurological case, as this case, uh, we refer patient to uh, neurology, uh, nerve doctor, or neurology. Why? Uh, his score, some score, one very, very important score in the neurology is called uh, mini mental test, mini mental score or mini mental score. Because this patient, uh, a neurological problem, maybe, maybe this uh, mental not complete, uh, not, uh, this mentality affected. So, is patient, if the patient in mini mental score is decreased or low score, uh, the patient, uh, uh, the patient have to ad admit under mental act. Something called mental act uh, because this many mental score is low. Because maybe this uh, reaction uh, not uh, from this condition, from this hemorrhage, from the bleeding. So, okay. So, this patient maybe need to uh, assist first with uh, many mental score. Dr. Abdel Hadi told we a, a shake is uh, shake is combat or not combat. How in this neurological cases by neurology, neurology, not psychiatry, uh, by neurology. Uh, because neurology, some test is called a mini mental score. If the mental mental score is low, the patient had or had to admit it under mental act, something called mental act. It's okay, very, very important. This the message. My message to you today is mental act, this legal issue here. It's okay. So, is patient if there has lack of mental capacity, uh, lack of mental capacity is assisted by mini mental score before the discharge. If the mental, mental, if mini mental score is low, she admit under mental act. So okay, and try the doctor uh, Samah as doctor Samah doing well. Uh, she uh, she try to solve my problem. She has tried to solve my problem. I has problem in my home. Try to social worker. I have problem in my job. I have like don't like nurse. Don't don't like. I wanted to smoke. Try to solve my problem first, and if if I insist. I will refer you to uh, neurology and you will doing some test to you and he will decide the plan of action. And if you don't know or don't remember, as, as Dr. Samah told, uh, I will refer to you my consultant and he will discuss this issue with you. And as she told me, the plan was put with neurology doctor and surgery doctor. So uh, this case is interesting case and a new case and it came in his exam. Uh, we can discuss it rapidly now. I, Dr. Samah, I think uh, excellent to cover everything in the in the scenario. But as I told here, please not inform, not inform the patient. Anything not in the scenario. Dr. Samah inform the patient to think not in the scenario. She inform him. I will doing some investigation to confirm uh, this not written in scenario. Not inform the patient. You are not doing anything because the patient confirmed because some are coming damage. And he told she told him I will admit you as you. In the scenario, not I told you, uh, please discuss the issue of this uh, admission in the patient in the ICU. If she, if he wanted from you to inform the patient, he will write you. It's okay, because the scenario inform you uh, everything uh, they want from you, everything and everything you don't you want from you, he will inform you. It's okay, please don't put anything not in the scenario. So uh, uh, try to start with the beginning. Uh, what Dr. Samah informed the patient. Uh, today, our case is case of uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage. A patient admitted to hospital with test of severe headache. And uh, the diagnosis is subarachnoid hemorrhage. So, uh, start from the beginning. Uh, uh, good morning, good morning. I am Dr. Mohammed. Today is the senior house officer in the clinic today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
Uh, I'm talking to Mrs. Uh, Sandy. Yes. So, okay. Today we will discuss your uh, this, this case. I will discuss your uh, condition, Mrs. Sandy. So, okay. Yes. Can uh, what you know about your condition? Please inform me more about your condition. Yes, doctor. Yesterday, I uh, has headache and getting sick, and I uh, went to hospital and they asked me doing some uh, scan, and they informed me, advised me to admit in hospital until a result uh, released. So please inform me, doctor. Yes, Mrs. Sandy, uh, you don't want anyone to uh, admit with us or you want one, uh, uh, anyone else attend the discussion with you? No, doctor, it's okay. Uh, what's your expectation, Mrs. Sandy? Yes, doctor, yesterday I had some problem in my job or uh, some stress in my job. And uh, I think this uh, over exhaustion or over stress uh, uh, from my job yesterday. So it's headache, I think, is normal headache as I has before. But it's, uh, this time is more severe than before. So start to inform the patient. As doing the doctor, she start um, late to describe the, uh, what happened uh, to the patient late. She told you, I will refer him, to, I will refer you to, she told you here, she told you here, you have uh, some acute hemorrhage, I will refer you to the uh, surgery and the nerve, but not inform the patient what subacute hemorrhage. I, do, I, I don't, to, don't inform the patient what the subacute hemorrhage. Try to, uh, step by step, try to first discuss the patient what the subacute hemorrhage or what the bleeding. So, Dr. Miss, uh, Mrs. Uh, Sandy, the result of imaging has been released, unfortunately, not as we hope. And stop a while, stop. Uh, what happened, Dr. Please inform me. Uh, I'm really sorry to inform you, but as a doctor, Dr. Asimah, also some defect in the embassy of Simpsi. You don't told me, I'm sorry, uh, I know what happened to you, I am really sorry, I will try to help you, try to Simpsi and embassy. So, uh, you have some, uh, I'm really sorry to inform you, you have uh, bleeding in your one cavity of your brain. So, this is called sub hemorrhage. I'm really sorry to inform you that. And stop. Oh, doctor, it's, I'm really sorry about it. I'm really sad about it. It's serious, doctor. Please help me. It's okay. It is embassy and things. Very, very important. Uh, please, can I explain more uh, about it, Mrs. Sandy? Yes, doctor. It's okay. So you have, as, as Dr. Asimah doing very well, yes, uh, so I try to draw the brain, and this is have as easy as any origin has blood supply. But uh, maybe this, uh, maybe, from you has, has diabetes and hypertension, this risk factor may cause this uh, rupture of one of these vessels, or uh, by increased blood pressure, may some cause bleeding in your brain, or uh, maybe uh, aneurysm, maybe for me, maybe balloon dilatation in your uh, blood supplies or blood conduit of the brain. If you don't remember, it told him from you has uh, from hypertension or over stress, or uh, uh, maybe this cause rupture in one bleeding supply or blood could be to the brain and cause this bleeding in your brain cavity. So in the symptoms, so I mean, start to uh, describe, the, describe the, give the small hint about the disease and start to the symptoms and the complication. As we told in any disease we are take with us. Uh, so uh, maybe symptoms may start as headache and uh, feeling sick and getting sick, maybe uh, dizzy attack or drowsy or uh, maybe disturbed conscious level or uh, maybe some fits. I'm really sorry to inform you if this condition may be deteriorated. If not, con if not treated, maybe uh, loss of your conscious and this may be pressure in uh, another, uh, maybe a pressure in the nervous supply in your brain or pressure in your uh, any uh, part of any your brain and the loss of conscience. And I'm really sorry to this life treating condition. So you inform the patient about symptoms and complication. Are you for me, Mrs. Sandy? I'm really sorry what happened to you. I know this is how much difficult to use this information, but we here we help you, try to help you as, as much as we can. I think it will take six minutes or seven minutes in all this discussion. So our management brand, Mrs. Sandy, I will refer you to multidisciplinary team in the form of the nerve doctor and uh, surgery doctor, surgery and uh, medical doctor uh, to adjust your blood pressure and diabetes and the nerve doctor to assist your uh, our conscious level, it's okay, and social social worker uh, to for proper care and management plan, it's okay. Uh, and also, I will, as I told you, nerve doctor will assist your uh, conscious level and.
for best interest for you. So what's the plan for best interest for your condition? Uh, so we, uh, you need Mrs. Sandy to admit in hospital to under uh, our close observation to uh, to assist to assist your conscious level and your vital sign your blood pressure and uh, your uh, vital sign. So okay, uh, for any further complication may happen in in the hospital, we can care rapidly or can can interfere rapidly or help you rapidly to uh, avoid any complication to help her to. Uh, يعني give her benefits of staying in hospital or to control your blood pressure and close observation your uh, blood pressure and your pulse and your conscious level and because in hospital we can help you rapidly if any complication had happened. So the patient now, you have any problem, you have any concern, Mrs. Sandy? Yes, please, doctor, I want to go home. I feel good now. I have no headache now. I want to go home. Please, Mrs. Sandy, uh, can you please inform me why you want to go to home? Try now to solve her problem. Please, doctor, yes, I like smoking and uh, not allow me to smoke in hospital. Mrs. Sandy, you know, smoking is, uh, has negative or has problem in your condition. And now your health condition is a uh, serious condition, doctor, serious condition, uh, condition if not treated, Mrs. Sandy. So I am, uh, your smoking will may deteriorate this, your condition. I advise you to stop smoking now for your uh, best interest. And uh, do you think before to cessation, cessation of the smoking? No, doctor, try. I will try to to smoking cessation clinic. It's okay to you? Yes, doctor. So it's the first problem. That's a problem. I have children in my home or my, uh, my father in my home or anything in my home. So I will contact the social worker. She will take care about your children, about your father. So uh, it, it will be okay. It's okay. No, doctor, I don't want to stay. As, uh, as I told you, Mrs. Sandy, your condition is serious, if not uh, treated uh, properly. And as I told you, we need to close observation to you because me, your conscience may be deteriorated in any time and maybe increase your pressure in, inside your uh, skull or your blood, your brain, and it cause a lot of complication. I'm really sorry to inform you, maybe deep coma and life threatening condition. If the patient insists, it's okay. It's okay, uh, Mrs. Sandy, I will discuss this issue. I will arrange a uh, meeting with my consultant. I can discuss this issue with you. And also, I will arrange urgent uh, meeting with a uh, nerve doctor. He will assess uh, your con condition or assess your conscious. And according to his assess uh, conscious level, he will uh, decide if you can go home or not go home. Okay? Uh, it's okay, doctor. Uh, so, uh, what's your job? I am uh, an accountant, a teacher. Uh, what uh, anyone at home support you is? Yes. Uh, you are taking medication regularly for your attention. No, or yes, I take medication or not take medication. So, uh, now we will discuss about uh, you have any other concern, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Sandy? Yes, Dr. I, as I told you about the go home. Right, so, uh, as I promise you, Mrs. Sandy, I will arrange. And there was no doctor and my consultant. Please, can I summary, summarize what was discussed today? Yes, uh, you have hypertension, you have headache, and we admit here you uh, under our observation and investigation done and showing you have bleeding in your brain, and I will refer you to the doctor and another doctor for proper management and uh, plan. Uh, please, what's, can, what's your understanding from me, Mrs. Sandy, today? Uh, have another any concern? No, doctor. I will really give you some leaflets and the brochure and the website about your condition, and I will give you my number if you can to contact me anytime. Do you have any another uh, thing, Mrs. Sandy? No, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. What's the legal issue here? The legal issue is the patient need uh, to assess here uh, his ability to discharge the hospital, so it need to admit under the mental act if the patient will uh, if the uh, seen first by uh, doctor, uh, uh, nerve doctor or neurology doctor will doing a mini mental score. If the mini mental score is low, the patient need to admit under the mental act. This is a legal issue here. I hope we cover uh, uh, scenario today. Uh, now, if, we, if anyone has any comment or anything, please discuss this issue now. Anything? If you have any problem, any condition, anything, Dr. Suhair, Osman, if, any, if anything. Uh, 